Hi everyone, today I am sharing my nine favorite things about The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. I finally read this book last semester, which was fall 2020, and I know it took me forever to finish The Lord of the Rings. I got very hung up on The Two Towers, but I am so glad I finally finished this trilogy. This video will contain spoilers for The Return of the King. Sorry, I can't share my favorite things without lots of spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch this. As always, these are my opinions and you don't have to agree with me. Number nine, I love that Bill the Pony survives. Sam is very attached to Bill the Pony and they get separated along the journey and I'm so glad that Bill lives and he and Sam are reunited at the end. We don't need to be horse killers in this book, so I am glad that Bill survives. Number eight, Frodo doesn't want anyone killed. This is particularly apparent once the hobbits return to the Shire and are dealing with Saruman and his ruffians. Frodo repeatedly says that he does not want anyone killed during the conflict between the hobbits and the ruffians. As a pacifist, that makes me really happy. I don't think people need to be killed, even if they are criminals. So I'm glad that Frodo and I have similar views on the situation. Number seven, Frodo gets Bag End back. I was so sad when Frodo sold Bag End to the Sackville Bagginses, and I'm so happy that it goes back to him in the end. It's not the same bag end. Things have happened to it, but he gets it back. He has his childhood home and it belongs to him again. And that just makes me very happy. Number six, the hobbits defeat the ruffians in the Shire. I really love how much the hobbits have grown and how Merry and Pippin in particular are able to take the lead and get the other hobbits to expel all these ruffians who have taken over the Shire. The hobbits may be small, but they're strong and they defeated these men and I think that's super awesome. Number five. I really like that Eowyn fights in the battles. She's the only female character who actively fights in battles and we really should have more of them, but I'm glad there's at least one. And I also really like that she defeats the Witch King of Angmar because he's supposed to be undefeatable and she manages to do it. And I really like that we have a strong female character in this book. I wish there were more because what Eowyn accomplishes is pretty awesome. Number four, I've said this one before, it's the only one I'm going to be redundant on, but it needs to be said again. Sam's loyalty is phenomenal. Everyone needs a friend like Sam. Sam is fantastic and Sam is so loyal to Frodo and that's really what makes the mission succeed, which is number three. Sam's strength is what gets the ring to Mordor. If it were just up to Frodo, that ring would never have gotten to the fires of Mount Doom. It never would have been destroyed. But because of Sam, it did get destroyed, which is great. So Sam's strength is critical to the mission, and I love that about Sam. Sam is the real hero here. Number two, I love Gollum's role in the end. I really like his role just overall because this whole time he is helping Sam and Frodo get to Mount Doom so that Frodo can destroy the ring, which is Gollum's precious, and Gollum has no idea this is happening. And then once he figures out it's happening, he's very upset. And then he takes the ring from Frodo and ends up being the one to destroy it. Accidentally, of course. But I love how he's the one who ultimately ends up destroying it because it's his precious and he doesn't want it destroyed. And I love that about his role in this book. And number one is Merry and Pippin's character arcs. I love how much these two hobbits grow and change over the course of the trilogy, especially in this last book. I loved watching them change and become stronger and more confident, and I just love watching them grow as individuals. 
So these are my nine favorite things about the Return of the King. I didn't want to repeat anything I've said before with the exception of Sam's loyalty because it's so important. And there are some other things I like about this that I will be talking about in a future post where I talk about the trilogy as a whole. So you can stay tuned for that. What are your favorite parts of this book? Do you agree or disagree with my choices? Did I forget anything? Let me know in the comments down below. Next time I will be sharing my nine least favorite parts of The Return of the King, so stay tuned for that on Thursday. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and ring the bell for notifications. I hope you all have an excellent day.